Every two years, we get a new LTS version of Ubuntu, and it has been just about two years since the last 22.04 version has dropped. And right here, you can see Ubuntu 24.04, the beta was released a little while ago. I haven't really had time to check it out, but it is about to release, and this is gonna be a vehicle for me to check out the latest version of GNOME as well. If we go over here to this OMG Ubuntu article, you can see it features a GNOME 46, which I am excited to check out, and there are some other notable changes within Ubuntu itself. I was gonna use the release of Fedora 40 as my vehicle to kinda of check out the new version of GNOME, but that version of Fedora, or that upgrade, is boring. Really not much going on there. So I went ahead, got it downloaded, and what we're gonna do is drop in a virtual machine and check it out. But first, we do need to thank the sponsor of today's video. NordPass, one of the best password managers in the game. With NordPass, you can save time and energy while boosting either your personal security or the security of your business. And beyond the typical password manager stuff, you can store sensitive information within their encrypted vault. You can share passwords, payment information, notes with people in your team securely, and all your passwords will sync across all your devices, whether that be an Ubuntu machine, Windows, Mac, or if you need to use web browser extensions. And you can secure this even further with two-factor authentication or even biometrics. One of my favorite features is their strong password suggestions, giving you something way stronger than what a website is probably going to suggest. And they have monitoring services, so if there is a data breach within a website that you have a password stored for, they will let you know immediately. And better yet, if you want a three month free trial, go ahead and use my code TECHA or check out the link down below. Ubuntu Desktop does make questionable decisions in my opinion on some things, but I personally love Ubuntu. I use it basically every single day. It's running on multiple machines right there in my server cabinet, obviously the server version of the operating system, and I just keep it on the latest LTS, so it's that means it's almost time for me to upgrade. Make sure it's going to be rather performant for us in this demonstration. And it's, oh, oh. <laughs> Gotta play a play a guessing game here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, it's beta, so I can't give it too hard of a time. I think the OK button's over here somewhere. Oh, there we go. <laughs> apply changes? Question mark. Oh, there it is. Apply. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's hope that looks a little bit better when we actually get the system installed. One thing they recently changed is their installer, or at least made some uh, visual improvements on. I made a lot of videos in the past about them switching to this kind of Flutter-based installer, which looks beautiful compared to like Calamaris or some of the other like stock installers that distribution ship with. And apparently one thing that you're gonna be able to do, oh yeah, see this looks really nice. Uh, we have accessibility in Ubuntu. Um, one, what I was saying, one thing you're gonna be able to do is use a YAML file if you want to be able to deploy a like pre-configured instance of Ubuntu instantly with this installer. So that's gonna be something uh, that you'll be able to do. Uh, I don't need any of this personally. Uh, select your keyboard layout. You select your keyboard layout. US. This all looks really good. Connect to internet. Let's use our wired connection. And then we can either install or straight up try Ubuntu. We're going to go with the installation option. And we have automated installation. Which th this is what I was talking about. The auto install YAML for consistent and repeatable system setups. So that's really nice if you're like wanting to install Ubuntu like this on like let's say you're an IT administrator at a school you have to do 500 installs there you go that makes it much easier we're gonna go with the interactive installation though just to kind of see the new process and this does look completely different than last time I not completely this looks significantly more different than the last time I checked it out it's been a while since I installed a, a Ubuntu desktop so here we have a default selection which is just the web browser basic utilities and we have the offline friendly selection office tools so I'm assuming the LibreOffice suite utilities and a web browser we're gonna go with that one Install third-party graphics Wi-Fi hardware, uh, additional fonts, media formats, let's do it. And we're going to go ahead and erase the entire disk and install Ubuntu. We got some minor graphic glitching. Again, this is in beta. It doesn't release until I believe, when does it release? The 25th, so in about 10 days. Give yourself a super strong, complicated, and secure password. And then let's go next. Time zone selection, giving us a quick rundown, and then we click install. Like always, we could go ahead and click on this, or we should be able to click on this. Oh no, that's going, oh, it's this button. <laughs> to see what it's actually doing in the background. And of course, if we close this, we could get the slideshow going over some of the features and what we get from our uh, new Linux system. And boom, we are installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart this and boot back into it. 
overall super impressed with their installer. Definitely one of the best that I've seen on desktop Linux. Oh no, we're getting this again. I might have to go uh, into Xorg for now, chat. Let's see if that helps. It. Ubuntu on Xorg. Oh no, it still doesn't work. That may mean it's time for plan C. I really never truly learned my lesson. Look, you might find this laptop familiar. Intel N95 demo. I used it in the uh, benchmarking video. I just installed uh, the beta version Ubuntu 24.04 on this. All right, so we got OBS on this laptop now. And now we can finally, if I can click it, go through the little welcome thing here. So welcome to Ubuntu Noble Nomad. <laughs> what does the background look like? Oh, not the best, but definitely, definitely not the worst. So let's proceed. Uh, hell no, we don't want Ubuntu Pro. Uh, sure, link for the app center, and that's it. We're now in the system. And you can see here I have a rhythm box and some of the LibreOffice writer that came with the extended option, which I also selected on this laptop here. A couple differences in the applications. Oh, it's down here. Oh, did they change this button? They might not have, I'm not too familiar. But the uh, GNOME games they removed from here. This camera tool right here, I believe here, let's open it up because I think this webcam might actually work. Oh, doesn't, dun dun dun. But this camera tool, I believe is Snapshot, it replaced um, Cheese, which used to be their camera application. And another little change on the operating system side is if we go over to Thunderbird, is it installed? Of course it's installed. Thunderbird is now a, drum roll please, brrr. Oh, it doesn't say. It's a snap package. They, they made it a snap package, just like Firefox. You do notice how it didn't take forever to open up. That is a issue that they, for the most part, fixed, which is pretty nice. That was definitely one of the cons of snap packages. There are other cons, but they fixed one of them. Still sticking with the theme of the operating system itself. Let's go ahead and open up our terminal here. Make it a little bit bigger. NeoFetch is not installed. There we go. So we can see here we are rocking with the 6.8 kernel, which of course having the latest kernels or the uh, newer kernels offers more support for newer hardware, performance optimizations, things like that. And you can see some other software versions, including this right here, GNOME 46. So that is gonna be the rest of this video. We're gonna be more focused on the desktop environment uh, going forward because that's really the bulk of the changes within the operating system itself. Everything's been updated. There are some other smaller little tweaks and changes that I really didn't cover and I will be linking down below to the full documentation. So with that, let's go ahead and check out some of the new changes and a lot of the changes are in Nautilus. This right here, looking a little bit different, we have a search bar or search button, which will basically allow you to search your home directory here. You can go to search settings and add some custom locations if you would like to. Um, I don't really have anything in my system. I do have some media files. So if I like go to my documents and then we'll search for something like a MKV and we'll look at that. We are now, we have the two MKV files, super fun. And then of course this button right here is to search your uh, current folder. I have a web browser open up here too, so I don't have to open everything. Uh, there's a new time and date format under preferences that gives you an option to uh, actually list that how you prefer it to be. If we go over here to our settings, settings, there is a new system menu, and this will give us options such as a region, time and date, users, remote desktop, secure shell, and about. Privacy has been changed to privacy and security, which a lot of these settings haven't really changed. They just kind of moved around and been uh, organized slightly better. You can see here on the actual uh, post here from It's Foss, this is what the older menu looks like right here. You can see instead of the system, you had time of date, uh, about is right here. If we go up to apps right here, we have a new option right here that uh, starts with the default apps. So then we could go ahead and change all that really easy if you'd like to. And within GNOME, there has been additions to the online stuff or the online accounts. So if I go down here, online accounts, we still have our Google Nextcloud, we have Microsoft Personal. One thing you may notice is it didn't ask us or give us the option to set this up through that initial kind of welcome thing. Now we have to do it through here, making it so we have to use web browser authentication, which just makes things a little bit more secure. And we have web dev. So if I click this, you can see the UI just looks a little bit better. And it does have support for CalDev and CardDev. I'll be real with you. I've never 
used any of these services. I don't even know if I'm saying them right, but if you do, they are there. Gnome Maps UI has made some nice changes. If I look over here, it's not really um, installed, but we have these zoom buttons have a makeover to make them look pretty, and overall the UI has been tweaked to look modern and simple. This article I'm using from It's Foss is gonna be like one of the, probably the second link available under resources, if you do want to check it out. Notifications are prettier. I'm probably not gonna get a notification, but this is what they look like. And better yet, this is a comparison right here. Shout out to It's Foss. You can see screenshot notification tells you what's going on and gives you a little description versus just telling you what it is in the description. Just looks better, cleaner, more informative. That's always nice. New wallpapers, looks pretty, yada, yada, yada. And other improvements, including performance, memory usage improvements, new renderer for GTK. Apparently the system monitor, monitor is now GTK. But does it rain true in Ubuntu? 46, beautiful. So yeah, it looks the same, looks the same, but the back end is better. There it is, absolutely beautiful. And yeah, that's really about it. I will definitely link down below to um, the download links, the It's Foss article, the official change logs, if you want to check out anything and everything that has been included with everything that I missed that will all be linked down below. I had Debian on this machine for quite a while, ever since I made that video covering Debian, other than when I ran benchmarks and stuff, that has been the driving force of this laptop. So I, I'm gonna keep Ubuntu on it because it's basically the same thing. <laughs> but in this case, I'm adding some conical crap. I joke conical, I love you. <laughs> With all that, have an absolutely beautiful day and good bye.